Here's how to activate and properly install your Air Alloy eSIM step by step on an Android device. I'm going to be using a Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, but this will work for any Samsung. Before we start, I have included my affiliate link and referral code in the description below. So make sure you use them if you want to save up some money. Let's start. So Air Alloy is an eSIM provider that allows you to stay connected with their data plans in over 200 countries worldwide. No physical SIM cards and no roaming fees. But first things first, not all phones support eSIM. If you have most recent Samsung Galaxy devices, Google Pixel, or any other Android device, you should be good to go. But just make sure that you review this in the Air Alloy app and website where you will find a complete list of their eSIM compatible devices. But here's the catch. Your phone also needs to be network unlocked in order to install your Air Allo eSIM or any other third-party eSIM. If you still do not know if your device is network unlocked, check out unlockriver.com. It's a trusted service used worldwide to unlock phones safely and permanently. I will leave a link to a video in the description below where I show you exactly how to check your phone network status and if needed, how to unlock it. Now that you verify that your phone is fully compatible, download the Air Allo app from the Google Play Store. So open the Play Store, and once you download it, click Open. And then head to the Store section. You will find three types of eSIMs, Local, Regional, and Global eSIMs. Local plans work in just one country, while Regional SIM cards and Global eSIMs support multiple countries. A Global plan will allow you to stay connected in multiple countries using a single eSIM. And they do have plans that include phone numbers, texting, and calling. In case you need to make traditional calls, these are just available in the global eSIM plans. Just remember that if you only get a data plan, you will still be able to call through WhatsApp and similar applications with internet calling features. So we're going to go ahead and select the plan. In this case, we're going to select a Spain eSIM. We're going to proceed to place the order and get the eSIM. So tap Buy Now. If this is your first time using Erlo, click where it says Sign Up fill in your name, last name, email, and make sure that you use our referral code if you want to save some money. I will leave it in the description down below. I do have an account already, so I'm just going to go back, tap where it says login, and I'm going to sign in. So let's log in. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to proceed to place my order. Don't forget the referral code. Perfect. Now our order has been successfully completed. And if you go under my eSIMs, you will see the latest eSIM that I have purchased. So simply tap on details and tap on view instructions. Make sure that you maintain access to a stable internet connection during the whole installation process and do not interrupt the eSIM installation process. Let's proceed. Now keep this in mind, you can only install an eSIM once and you will see three options up here. First, you have the direct installation method. Simply tap install and this should install your eSIM. Then tap on QR code. Here you will need to scan this QR code with this device in order to install the eSIM. You can also tap manual installation. You will see the SMDP address and the activation code that you have to insert in your phone's details. Go to settings, connections, SIM manager, and add an eSIM. Now select the option scan QR code. In here, you will be able to add the eSIM manually or simply scan the QR code from Aerolog and follow the instructions. But today we'll use the easiest method, direct installation method. So tap install eSIM and let's proceed. This may take a few minutes, so I'll fast forward. Perfect, the eSIM has been successfully installed and now we have this verification that the eSIM was actually installed. Let's go back. Now there's one important step. If you scroll down, you will see that the eSIM is not yet activated. So the final step is to activate it. You can do this when you land or just before takeoff. Let's go to the settings of the device, tap on connections, SIM manager. And as you can see, we have the secondary eSIM that we just installed right here, but it's a little bit confusing. So let's tap on it and let's change and edit the name. We're going to name it Aerolo. Perfect. Let's go back and we have successfully installed the eSIM. Now the final step is to make sure that roaming is activated when you land. So when you land, go back to connections, tap on mobile networks, and make sure that data roaming is set to all networks. This ensures the best possible coverage and strongest signal when traveling abroad. Perfect. 
Now, as soon as the eSIM connects to the network, your eSIM will be instantly activated. If you're outside of the destination, it will activate as soon as you land and the phone will automatically connect to the network. Now, here's one last tip. Let's go back to the SIM manager. If you want to avoid unexpected roaming charges when you travel, I recommend you turn off your primary line. Just keep in mind that you won't be able to receive calls or SMS texts on this device. In this case, our eSIM is mobile data only, so that's the only feature that is activated. If you want to have multiple SIM cards activated, just make sure that mobile data is turned off on your primary line when traveling. And that's it, our eSIM from Eralo has been successfully installed and activated. Don't forget to use our referral code. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.